Hi there, this is Dr. Mu'in Hasib, the accreditation consultant and the quality and safety trainer with the first subject on accreditation and uh, quality. Uh, today we will be talking about quality assurance in a clinical laboratory. And this subject is divided into two lessons. In lesson one, we will be talking about what is quality, what is quality assurance, what is the difference between uh, total quality management, quality system, quality assurance, and uh, quality control? How does it work? And in lesson two, we will be talking about or discussing why do you need the quality quality assurance in your laboratory? How do you achieve the quality quality assurance in your laboratory? And who is responsible for quality quality assurance in your laboratory? And a brief uh, summary. Like what is the quality? The simplest definition of quality is to be consistent. And in order to be consistent, you have to be accurate and precise. Let me give you an example here. The, to be pre precise, your values has to be close to each other. To be accurate, you must hit your target. Okay? Let me give you an example here. Look at this dart. As you can see, the arrows are not too close to each other, nor they hit the target. Here, we say we have poor accuracy and poor precision because we did not hit the target and our arrows or values are not too close to each other. In the middle uh, picture here, you can see that the arrows are close to each other. So we say we have good precision. However, we have poor accuracy because we did not hit the target. In this picture here, as you can see, the arrows are close to each other and we hit our, our target. So we say we have good accuracy and good precision. Another definition for equality is the right result first time, every time. Somebody said, quality is invisible when it's good and impossible to ignore when it's bad. Do you agree with that? What is the quality assurance? Quality assurance means internal quality control plus external quality assessment. Another name for it is PT, okay? Another definition for quality assurance is the right result at the right time, at the right specimen from the right patient with result interpretation based on correct reference data and at the right price. And the right price is optional. Remember, drift, do it right first time. In the laboratory, in the lab, Quality assurance is the sum of all activities in which the laboratory is engaged in, from the choice of, of methods, to personal training, to the handling of specimen and reporting of results, to ensure that the final results reported by the laboratory are correct. In other words, the purpose of quality assurance activities is to determine how correct or incorrect the result originating from the lab are and to allow those who are managing the lab to determine whether or not the lab is fulfilling its functions satisfactory. There are three major activities of quality assurance, preventive, assessment, and corrective. The preventive, they are those activities that are done prior to the examination of the specimen or sample, which intended to establish system contributing to accuracy testing, like maintenance, calibration, and staff training. In assessment activity, they are done during the testing of the specimen to determine whether the test system are performed correctly, like the QC. 
the corrective uh, activities are done when errors are detected to correct the system troubleshooting like troubleshooting recalibration rerunning of the QC etc etc a good quality assurance system does four things first establish SOBs or IBBs SOB stand for uh, standard operating procedure and IBBs means internal policy and procedures and both mean the same thing so establishing SOBs for each step of the laboratory testing process ranging from specimen handling to instrument performance define administrative requirements such as mandatory recording data evaluation and internal audit to monitor adherence to the SOBs. Third, specify corrective action, documentation, and personnel responsible for carrying out corrective actions when problems are identified. And finally, sustain high quality employee uh, performance. Okay, now what is the difference between total quality management, quality system, quality assurance, and a QC. Total quality management is closely interlinked with good laboratory practice or practices and goes far beyond the widely practiced conventional quality control procedures. Total quality management includes accuracy and precision, equipment, supplies, staff training, skills, uh, financial management, which in other words, cost effectiveness, lab safety, communication, etc., etc. Total quality management aims at continuous improving or improvement, and this is a key word. So, total quality management aims at continuous improvement of improvement of the laboratory as a whole, holistic. Okay, leading to improved quality. Quality system, on the other hand, its organizational structure, resources, policies, processes, procedures, and forms needed to implement the quality management and manage the quality of the services or the products of the laboratory. In other words, all activities which contribute to quality of testing directly or indirectly. What do we mean by policy, process, procedures, and form? Policy means what to do. When you write a policy, it, you write what to do. The process is how it happens. The procedures, how do you do it in your own laboratories? and the forms you use to record your actions, if there is any. For example, if we decide to establish a competency assessment for, the, for our employees, the policy will state the intent and direction for competency assessment. The process will describe the activities that the transform the intent into action by establishing a competence assessment program. The procedure will document the instructions for conducting the competency assessment and the form of course you use to document your competency assessment for your, for your staff. For for quality assurance, we said it's internal quality control, IQC, IQC, or quality control, QC, plus the external proficiency assessment. What is an external quality assessment or proficiency testing or PT? Basically, uh, a proficiency testing uh, provider, a company, or an accreditation body will send you uh, some samples to test in your, uh, or images, to test in your uh, laboratory, okay? And then 
when you, once you're done, you report back the result to the uh, company or to the accreditation body where they compare your result with your peer group. A peer group is a company who is using the same instrument or the same kit as your laboratory. Then they will send you an evaluation back. Then you can see how you how you did compared to your your peer, and you uh, you need to evaluate and investigate as needed if some of your uh, BT result did not match with your peer. Okay, so a QC on the other hand is operational techniques and activities used to fulfill requirements for quality. It refers to the set of procedures undertaken by the laboratory staff for continuous and immediate monitoring of laboratory work in order to decide whether the results are reliable enough to be released. Continuous and immediate, these are key words. What does that mean? It means that when I'm running the QC and the purpose of running the QC is to tell me, is my machine okay? Is my instrument okay? Is my kit okay? Uh, then if my machine is okay, my kit is okay, then I can feel comfortable in reporting patient result. If the QC is out, then I cannot report my patient results and I need to correct the situation. So to summarize, think of QC as a quality inspector at the end of the line looking for defects. Look, uh, think of uh, quality assurance as controls put into process to prevent any defect. And think of total quality management holistic as holistic. Think of the entire business system working to prevent defects in every stage of the development. So, quality control is the smallest element of quality, if you will. Quality assurance is next. Quality system is next. Total quality management is next. And when we say total quality management, it includes quality system, quality assurance, and quality control. But when we say quality, it includes all these things. Quality control, quality assurance, quality system, and total quality management. When I visit some of my client labs, uh, some of the quality, um, some of the quality staff there, they call themselves, I am the, uh, the QC officer. Well, you're not the QC officer because you are, you are not just taking care of the QC. You should call yourself quality officer because you are taking care of all aspect of equality, not just QC. So how does it work? How does the quality assurance work or quality works? In the lab, any specimen that comes into the laboratory has to go through what we call quality path of workflow, which integrates the ordering, scheduling, drawing, transporting, processing, and result reporting activities associate with the test performed on any specimen by the staff in the laboratory. The quality path of workflow includes the three phases involved in the process of any specimens. What are they? The pre-analytical phase, analytical phase, and post-analytical phase. Pre-analytical phase, it is all the processes and procedures that take place 
before the analysis of the specimen from the time a laboratory request is made by a physician till the sample is ready for testing uh, for example, initial patient identification, sample collection, sample labeling, sample, sample transportation, and receiving. The analytical phase includes the actual analysis of the specimen. It includes maintenance, calibration, and quality control also. For the post-analytical phase, it includes data or result entry or the transmission of the data from the analyzer to the LIS or HIS, which will be reviewed by the, by the physician. This concludes the uh, lesson one. To continue with the subject, please go to lesson two. In lesson two, we will be covering why do you need quality quality assurance in your laboratory? How do you achieve quality quality assurance in your laboratory? who's responsible for quality quality assurance in your laboratory and a brief summary thank you for watching